I'm Shanae and this is my crazy family. Last week we came back to LA for a work trip marking the first time we visited since moving our whole lives to Tennessee six months ago. This week it's mama's turn to hustle. I'm reuniting professionally with my old 90210 castmate for the first time in nearly a decade to work on a very secret passion project and you are getting all the sneak peeks in this video. Don't forget to join the fam and subscribe. We are here in the studio. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Hi. This is the first time I'm feeling him. Oh my god! Always tell you what to do. Can't keep up with all the bullshit that <laughs> This is the glamour behind the scenes. <laughs> this is behind the scenes, making shit happen. How we get clothes oh on god. without getting makeup all over. No them. makeup on the white tee. <laughs> So my zipper idea worked. Oh, and I'm waxing my upper lip right now. But it worked. It totally worked. And I think it's gonna look super cute for the promo photos. That's a wrap! <laughs> wow, you really did this. Oh. <laughs> only day that we have any time off together as a family so we thought it'd be nice to do a hike because hiking was always one of our favorite things to do in LA and we've missed it a lot and we're driving right through our old neighborhood on the way to the hike so I thought it'd be fun to do a quick little drive-by of our old house okay. say I love you thank you for the good times is that creepy is that weird Josh thinks so I think it's an episode right? We're not gonna like park outside of it. We're just gonna like swiftly drive by and give it a wave. It's fine. It's normal. How does it make you feel driving past it? It does feel pretty disconnected from it now, you know? Yeah. Well, it's nostalgic because it's the first house the family lived in. Yeah. And the first house we bought, that was a big accomplishment. Yeah, it's all big accomplishments, but I'm glad that somebody else is enjoying it and doing their thing in there, making their memories.
Hi. Hello, you want mommy to run? Bet. Ready? Let's go. Go. I'm coming. Oh, no. <laughs> Today is day one of the new project that Miss Annalyn and I are going to be working on together. We have not worked together in such a long time. 90210 wrapped in 2012. No, 2013. Finished up in 2013. So it's been eight years <laughs> since we have worked together in any capacity, and I am so excited. I also really desperately need to get ready because I'm going to be on camera with Annalyn for the first time in a long time. So, you know, this mama's got to look and feel her best. Annalyn is absolutely gorgeous and I am exhausted and haggard as fuck after looking after Bowie on my own for the last four or five days. So I'm about to look absolutely crazy because I'm going to use some Oya skincare patches, masks, whatever you want to call them. This one is the facelifting mask and this one is the anti-wrinkle patches. I've used these in the past. They're actually reusable for 30 uses, which is awesome. It's like economically great, environmentally great. All you do is clean them off with water, lukewarm water after you use them. They're like little gel pads. It is a safe alternative to Botox, which I love pregnancy safe, which I love. When you apply it, you just make sure that there's no air bubbles or anything like that. My face is clean. I washed it and it's totally dry. I'm gonna do a little bit of that. Actually, I actually don't look as crazy as I thought I might. Boom. Beautiful. And it just kind of pulls everything up. And it'll probably take me about 20 minutes to style my hair. 20 to 30 probably, so that'll be like the perfect amount of time for all of this to work. It's magic. I can honestly say that just taking the time to treat myself to this and put that special attention in on the areas that I'm more insecure about as I'm getting older, it's just really nice. Like, as crazy as I look, I actually already feel more confident in my skin because I know that I'm taking care of myself. I have a 10% off code for Oya Skin, so if you're interested in purchasing any other products, make sure you remember to use my code for 10% off. I'll include it down in the video description below along with the link so you can head straight there. And I'm going to get to styling my hair now. Let's do it. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so my hair is pretty much done. This didn't get in the way at all while I was doing my hair. They like stick really well on your face, but they don't hurt whatsoever. I feel so <laughs> refreshed. Um, wow. Okay. That worked. Again, 10% off discount code in my video description. So if you want to buy these products, make sure you use that. Feeling good. This mom's feeling good. I'm ready to go. All right. Catch you guys on the flip side. We are on set of our new little project. And we are T minus literally two minutes oh, he's from starting. Ready. Oh, he's starting oh, now. Okay. Gotta go. <laughs> gotta go. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Day one is done. Day one is done. We have a whole nother long day tomorrow, but. Doing God knows what, because we really don't know what we're doing. <laughs> nope, but we're doing it, we whatever it is. Oh we God, did it. It was so big. It was a long day, and I feel proud of us. Yeah, I'm really High proud five. of us. High five. I mean. First day working first together. Day working together in like, in like eight years. Eight years, <laughs> what? <laughs> so fun, we will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Day two is starting. I was hoping a little earlier than day one, but trying to get 
Bowie dressed and out of the house and everything packed up and everyone on the road always takes longer than you think it will. So here we are, just getting into the car at about 8.15 a.m. And I think I'll end up arriving at Anna Lynn's around the same time as I did yesterday. Water, water. Coffee. And my coffee. Mm. Oh my goodness. I feel like today's gonna be a good day. We had a lot of technical issues yesterday. So, fingers crossed things go smoother today. That's why I'm trying to get there a bit early to just make sure everything gets set up. It's a bit of a long drive to Anna Lynn's house, so I've been requested in the back seat so Bowie can snuggle with my hair. So this is how I'm gonna be spending the rest of the car ride. Right, Bo? How I do Daddy. Daddy Finger, where are you? Oh, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. I have a YouTube channel as well. It's much, much tinier than your guys's, but one of, one of the first videos that really started to kind of garner me an engaged audience was a first pregnancy symptom update that I did the first time around because I was like, here's a bunch of shit nobody tells you about. Like people only talk about morning sickness and there's a lot of other things going on with your body. We completely forgot to vlog all <laughs> vlog day all. long. But you know what we did do? We finished! We, did it! we actually did it. It was two really long days. There were some technical glitches along the way. Like not recording things that should have been recorded. You know, we're not audio people or producers or anything, but we have a lot of respect for them. Yes, we have a lot of respect Especially for all of you guys. Especially now. Hopefully you guys stay tuned to what we have cooking for you and you'll see a lot of little sneak peeks ahead on my channel. So well, make sure you're our, subscribed. Our channel. Soon to be. Our channel. Our channel. Just saying. I steal the show. <laughs> it is our final morning in Los Angeles. We are leaving today. I've got my mask with my filters and my shield and my hand sanitizer ready on the go and we're ready we're ready to go home this does not feel like our home anymore so we are ready to get back to tennessee but it has been the most beautiful lovely trip i'm trying to get everybody ready and out the door i started packing last night whenever we leave an airbnb i always try to leave the airbnb the exact same way we leave our house at home whenever we're going out of town to travel which is spotless <laughs> because we like getting home to a really clean house and i feel like the cleaning crew will come in and wipe surfaces and sanitize and probably like sweep or mop the floors or whatever but otherwise i've got all the bedding and towels in the laundry already all the dishes are clean and put back in the shelves. So I hope that we get a good rating on Airbnb and that the owners are happy with the way that we care for their place because this place has kept us very, very happy for the last eight, nine days. I feel grateful to have found a nice little spot in our old neighborhood to call our temporary home for a little while. And a dirty diaper for the road. <laughs> Hello. Ready?
We're just driving to the airport and it is wild to drive down the freeway and just see so much garbage, like piles, heaps and heaps of garbage strewn along the entire freeway. It's absolutely wild. Obviously a lot of people have been displaced due to the pandemic, due to COVID-19, and it just is heartbreaking to see the people in this city and the city itself really not being taken care of the way that you would hope that they both would, you know? These people are human beings and deserve to be cared for and I mean, assisted. Literally every underpass that you see is full. Full of tents. I mean, w the underpass that was near our Airbnb, there was literally wooden structures being built. Like, very resourceful. Um, near the freeway, there was an entire parking lot that... Or well, they'd rather than move them on, or like house them correctly, or help them. They've just sort of allowed them to live this nomadic, but quite destructive to the city lifestyle, which is heartbreaking. They don't look in good shape, do they? No, no, They're no. They're not no. maintaining um, no, their no, surroundings. No. No, no, themselves. no. It's so sad. Everybody just looks incredibly lost. There's always been issues with, you know... The, well, every major city uh, has issues with Of course, and how, how the government is helping to take care of people experiencing homelessness. But right now, it's just out of control, man. It's it's so... California. So you sad. To, you need to figure it out, man. Yeah. You're an incredibly rich state. Yeah. You're not helping your own. But then you do also see people filming um, productions setting up too, as if it's not going on. It's ridiculous. Anyway, it's been a beautiful thing to get to come back and visit, get some work done, see friends, and you know, be in our old neighborhood and all of that. But it has been also heartbreaking to just see what that neighborhood has kind of become over the past years it has been neglected so much by Look the city that. every park every underpass looks like that yeah oh we missed you home you can tell by my hair it's been a long travel day oh but i'm so happy to be home Outside. Are you yeah. happy to be back in nature with all the animals? Yes, we, are we got Frankie back! And we got Frankie back! Yay. This is the first time coming home to our new home. How do you feel? It's great, isn't it? Feels like home, right? Home. Yeah. <laughs> that Going back to LA for us really affirmed that we made the right decision in moving and starting a new chapter of our lives and arriving home. <laughs> affirmed that even more. This is the perfect place for our next season of life, next chapter of our life journey. The family is growing and we <laughs> have the space for this little one here. Mommy's tummy! Babies! 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 Baby, baby, baby. Yeah, not babies. Baby, let me make it very clear. We did, we triple checked. There's one heartbeat, that's it. I also just wanna say how happy we are to have you guys supporting our family's journey and tuning in to all of the craziness that happens on this channel week after week. So thank you so much for subscribing if you have. If you haven't already, then please join the fam and do that. And we will see you guys in next week's video. Mwah!